How to fix the infinite loading screen error for Little Big Planet in RPCS3. For this issue, when playing Little Big Planet through the RPCS3 emulator, the second loading screen is infinite and prevents you from playing the game. To fix this, head to the RPCS3 wiki and search Little Big Planet, no spaces. I will have a link to this exact page in the description below. The infinite loading error requires the game to be updated to at least version 1.21 to be fixed. There are multiple ways to get the update files we need from RPCS3 Discord or downloading one of two third-party tools found on the RPCS3 wiki. For this video, I will be using the tool Rusty PSN. To get to this updates help page from the RPCS3 wiki, click on the three lines on the left side, click help, to open a new page and then click installing game updates. I will put a link to this exact page in the description below. Under step one for Rusty PSN, click on the blue highlighted here to get taken to a GitHub page. Scroll down to assets and find the appropriate EGUI zip, not the CLI versions. I am on Windows, so I will download the Windows EGUI zip. Now that we have the zip downloaded, we need to extract it. You can use whatever extractor you like, like 7-zip or WinRAR. Go ahead and delete the zip once extracted. You won't need it anymore. Then take the Rusty PSN application and put it in its own folder. Rename it whatever you desire. And then launch the Rusty PSN application. You may get a warning that Windows protected your PC. Go ahead and click more info and run anyway. Next, head to RPCS3, right click on Little Big Planet, hover over Copy Info, and click Copy Serial. Paste that serial number in Rusty PSN next to Title Serial. Then click Search for Updates. The game should pop up with the number of updates and total size. You can click the drop down to see all the individual updates if it's not already visible. You will need all versions up to your desired version, not just the latest version. So check RPCS3 again under version to see what version you are on. For me, I am on version 1.18. So if I wanted to update only to version 1.21, I would need to download 1.19, 1.20, and 1.21. You can download each file individually, or you can click the download all button. For this example, I plan to fully update the game to the latest version 1.30. So I will go ahead and click the download all button. By default, the updates will be downloaded to a folder called PKGS or packages, which should be in the folder where we put Rusty PSN. Open the packages folder and you will see the serial number and game for the updates you downloaded. If you download other game updates, it will be separated in its own folder automatically. Go ahead and open the folder to see all the updates. Now that we have the updates downloaded, it is time to install them. Head over to RPCS3. You can either drag and drop these updates into a blank space in RPCS3, or on the top left, click File, Install Packages Wraps EDATS. Find this particular updates folder, select all the desired updates, and open. Important note about updates. They must be installed in version order. So version 1.19, then 1.20, then 1.21, and so on. Order is shown on the left here. Make sure your updates are in version order from earliest release to latest. If necessary, you can click an update. And on the top right hand side, you have arrows to move the order of that update. Another important note, some games will skip a version number. As you can see, we have version 1.28 and version 1.30 but no version 1.29. That is normal. Just make sure you downloaded all the necessary updates as shown in Rusty PSN. If you forget a version or are missing one, a warning will pop up letting you know you need that particular version. Verify everything's in order and click install. Choose whatever shortcuts you desire, but I recommend to pre-compile caches and hit OK. And as you can see on the version, we are now updated to version 1.30. Go ahead and boot up the game 
and you can finally load. On the little big planet. If you're still having issues, there might be a problem with your settings. Try right clicking the game and booting with default configuration. And if that works, slowly add on your desired settings again. I hope that helped. Now you can play a wonderful game and you know how to update any other game in RPCS3. If you could spare a moment of your time and subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy this great game.